One. Sure, one, two, three. Okay, ready? One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. Ooh! Whoa! <laughs> Was it really on. that hot? <laughs> Let's do one more. Try, I want to try one, one more. more. Wait, Steve, you were like five seconds behind. <laughs> I know. One, two, three, No way is that <laughs> No way! Okay, so now I'm all good recording again. Does it all seem right. like it's st- yes. better? Yes, it does. Yep. All right. Let's just do one more. Okay, all right. Ready? One, yep. two, three, clap. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it's never gonna be in sync. No, you understand that, that, that was, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you were literally six seconds behind, so it was not good. <laughs> well, listen, guys, the pressure is high because we've received a lot of good feedback about our quarantine episodes, uh, and so just know that if you're worried we're gonna be trying extra hard during this or trying to somehow live up to our previous episodes <laughs> that we've done while apart, just know that's entirely happening. Yeah, but let's be let's be honest. Like, you guys have have any of you ever been like? Just before recording a Yar show, this is in your head, like, this is gonna be the funniest one. Like, have you ever done that? Because, like, I, I never so. even think about it. I think I have. Oh, once really? Or twice. Okay. Maybe not with I've me, but maybe it was more hope. Maybe it was more like, I hope this is a good one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it, na- it will naturally happen if it happens. And if not, I bet we're going to do more. Well, yeah, I want people to know that we're trying. And, and I love, I, we had the whole like rush of people being like, this is so good now that they're apart. And uh, and I think it like that was really nice. And now it's so funny to be like, I guess we got to capture that magic again. <laughs> well, because basically what you're seeing is, is you're seeing our sexual tension cut in absolute half. Yeah. Because yeah. the sexual tension when we're all in the room together is very real, and that's part of the magic. <laughs> so uh, maybe maybe we need to just cut out the sexual tension, you guys. Yeah. Maybe we need to just finally just let Make go love. and just let have go. sex with each other, sex, and so yeah. we could finally just get the sex out of the way, and then we could just go back to being what this is, which is just like in, you know we're not physically together. I'm not trying to get whatever, but I think there's a part of that that's like not doing it allows us to keep the fantasy of having sex alive which actually creates more of an allure which might actually drive us a little bit more and I would hate to see us enact that fantasy and then not have something well wait 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 hold on hold on Elliot but I'm in love with you like I can't just hold my feelings inside I love you too you know I love you well then let's just dude let's just put it let's just do it I don't, I really, I honestly don't want to. By the way, Joe introduced me to an app called Seek or something like that, where you can like take yeah, a picture a good... of like a, of a bug. And I just used it because I found a weird bug on my balcony the other day and it was wonderful. Yeah, dude, it works <laughs> on humans. No, yeah. it doesn't. Hold it up to Alana and it'll be like homo sapien or whatever it says. Bullshit. Yeah. It works on everything. Hey, Alana! Alana! <laughs> Come here, my girl. <laughs> I gotta Dude, try and experiment Steve. with you. Come here. I can't what? On camera. I look like a butthole. Nah, you're fine. Come over. Joe, hey. explain this app. Explain what it is. Oh, Seek is this fun little app that uh, it's a nature app. It's like a, it's almost like Pokemon Go, <laughs> no, no, I'll but for nature. Answer. And you take it outside with you, or inside, if you find a bug inside, if you have a plant inside you want to identify. And it's like the future movies, like in the 90s, when things were like, in the future, you're just going to have this thing in your hand, and it's going to tell you everything. (laughs) That's what it is. And you hold it up to a plant, and it'll be like, this is a Perfisicus Nancy. (laughs) Or you hold it up to a beetle. It It gets super specific. I think sometimes like, it's a guess, but it doesn't like tell in, you that it's not a guess. Yeah, in my yeah. app, I that's what I found. It's an Australian tortoise beetle, and that's the picture I took of it, and it, tell, it told me what it is. I have it pointed at her. Mm-hmm. That's it. It says you're a human! Human. Why do I, why, what is the trick here? Why did I have to be here? Because it's, you're a representation of a human. You could have done it to yourself. Yeah, well, they said Alana, though, Alana. for some reason. I, I don't know why that. one of you said to try it on Alana. I feel that I'm being tricked in some No, no, way. that's it. Thank you. I appreciate your help. You can go, you can go now. Thank I don't you. trust you at all. What are you talking about? Uh, what if you held it up to Alana? <laughs> what if you held it up to Alana and it was like, Genie? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's, uh, uh, let's throw it to our, let's throw it to the audience.
or Kevin, Janie. Kevin, you look like you're gonna give us news about YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording your own video, Kevin? Sarah Griffiths. Um, we just saw Steve's girlfriend, Alana. We know Ellie's girlfriend, Grace, and Heather, who's Joe's wife. Uh, Sarah Griffiths asked who would win on Survivor out of Grace, Alana, and Heather. Ooh. Ooh, okay, I'm going to jump Alana. in. Alana. Yeah, it's probably Alana. It's probably Alana. Heather. Heather's... Uh... She's starting off in a bad place. She's kind of in like the uh, the outside lane, <laughs> but like 70, 75 meters back. She, she's at um, an upset. Her body might betray her like a day in, but if she can get through, if she can get over the health issues, she's a stubborn son of a bitch. And he Heather is the only one amongst them that that we know of that has had children. That we know of. That we know of. And that's a, that takes a lot of strength and endurance to have children. And that's two of them. Right. And if like, but I still not think it's Alana of, though. Uh, Alana is, could is like. Is Grace just out of the question? Huh? Is Grace just the first one out? Who's the first one out? Grace. Well, first of all, I have doubts that Heather would be allowed on the show for liability reasons. <laughs> uh, just if if we're calling a spade a spade, she's not capable. Uh, it's not safe for her or the show or nope. Disney ABC, but. Grace and I have had many conversations about her ability to be on Survivor, and I try to be supportive and tell her that she would be very good at it, she's very smart, she understands how people's brains work, and she has in turn convinced me ad nauseum that she would be horrible at it, she would get anxiety immediately, she would cry, and she'd want to be voted off the island. <laughs> Why isn't there like a game, like a version of Survivor you can play at home? I know. And that wouldn't that be great? Yeah. I, I, mean, like I Dude, have you guys gotten into Survivor at all yet? No. no. I only watched like the first season. It is like a, it's a perfect show in my opinion. And you guys need to watch one season and just be like, okay, I get it. Uh, I would do, would you guys, do you guys think you would do well? Joe, you would kill it. You would kill Survivor. I, I'm not afraid of the physical challenges. Uh, I just don't know how good of a manipulator I am. I'm not, that's where I might fail. I, I, you're, I think it's like a, a flip of the coin, right? It's like, are you on enough people's good sides and you're kind of playing it under the radar enough that they're not thinking of, about you? But then it's a problematic mm -hmm. if you're good at stuff. So being good at stuff actually isn't necessarily good unless you're yep. winning everything and you're getting immunity or whatever. Um, yeah, I, how it. often is it like, is it always a manipulative person that wins it? Is it? Nope. I didn't no. know manipulation was a big part of it. Huge, dude. It's like- I, I didn't know in, that. The complexity of how to go about winning that game is pretty insane. It's good. It's a good brain watch. For but you. can you like be manipulative but not physically able to do a lot of things and still win? Yep. It's perfect. It's a perfect show. <laughs> dude, I'd be like, I just, I'd want everybody to like me. So I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll be on your, your little secret squad yep. over here. And then I'd be like, hey, we got a secret squad. Just want you to know, can I also be on your secret squad? Oh, we're all, great, awesome. Uh, oh, we're doing the vote. Okay, I'm gonna vote me off. Yep. Dude, oh, <laughs> you're talking about tribal councils? What up, Jackson? Get your ass back in bed, you little <laughs> sh**. I know we have to answer more questions, but if you guys want to keep talking about Survivor for another hour, I will do it. Get out of here, Jackson. I said I won't say it again. <laughs> I looked up if there's an actual game, and there's Survivor the interactive game that they came out Let's... with in 2001. What? What is it for? For PC. <laughs> we should play it, dude. So like with all this reality show stuff, I haven't watched a lot. And I told you guys, I watched like Road Rules and Real World Challenge. Like mm -hmm. that was kind of been my thing. Kind of survivor-ish at times, depending on the season. Right now I look like Johnny Bananas from that show, which is crazy. But have you, that show might have the most insane finale moment ever. So Bananas, are you gonna split the winnings with Sarah? Or are you gonna take the whole entire $275,000 yourself? In, in reality show history. You guys know about this? They do a season where they pair up boys and girls. And then once you win it, the winner ends up being one of the people on the team. And then that person who has teamed up with this other person to win the finale for like a million bucks has the choice to either take all the money oh, or beautiful. split it with their teammate. Sarah was an amazing partner. I could not have done it without her. Um, but I need to... Uh, Please look after myself and 
and oh, this yeah, dude yeah, yeah. I remember that. straight <laughs> up takes Beautiful. the money and does it straight Beautiful. to her face <laughs> in front of everybody. Oh, yeah. It's real gross. He's, oh, man. He, <laughs> you gotta watch the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the money and run, teacher. Do you know what ha do you know what happened? But without doubt, they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but I mean, does he regret it at this point or something? You think? I don't think so. He might be <laughs> crippled with regret in his twice as big house as he would have had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we talk about reality TV a lot <laughs> because it's oh, it's God. right in front of our faces, and we're on TV all day now it feels like well, and also yeah there's two things we can talk about on this show which is reality tv stuff we're watching or what's going on in the world so i would <laughs> oh, like yeah. to continue talking about survivor <laughs> wait wait so alana we didn't talk about Alana real quick though alana totally wins yeah she knows how to like center herself when things are too stressful and like she's got all these like crazy like mutant abilities when it comes to like being comfortable and and you know and accepting of everything around you and also she'd be like um sh she could look at like wild food in the in the wilderness and just be like uh that that's good but it doesn't have enough protein where can i find you know and she'd dig in the ground and find a truffle and be like eh, that's good that's good for me i do think there is one problematic aspect of alana being on the show because she might start an uprising against the show itself like I could see her sitting around and looking at like during the tribal council and being like, guys, this is fucked up. Yeah. The capitalistic entertainment complex is making us do this to one another. And I say we band together and take them down. And then they just vote off Survivor <laughs> itself. The tribe has spoken. Any Survivor season that has Alana in it will not end without all of them signing a petition at some point for something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there's a scene that they do every season, uh, or a moment in every season where the, uh, the castaways meet their, like, family, and they, it's, regardless of how much I'm paying attention to whatever season it is, it is always incredibly emotional and, like, incredibly beautiful because it's people who've been away from their family for, like, 30 mm. days, and they've been on an island, like, getting backstabbed constantly. Steve, if you emerged from the forest to hug Alana after she had been there for 30 days, it would be the cutest, most adorable, <laughs> hilarious moment. Just like this, Seeing this you Ewok coming out. out of the... <laughs> Yeah. Coming because out of the you bushes. Don't know what, yeah, you don't know what people's significant others look like. And then right, just right. to see you be like, <laughs> I need a hug. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for watching the show today. What a lot of fun, huh? What fun. We, we don't have to have fun in the same room. We could be on the internet, even if it doesn't work so well. But we really appreciate you guys. And don't forget to go to patreon.com slash thevalleyfolk. Become a patron, you get all sorts of little treaties like uh, mm. podcasts before anybody else, and mm. lots of little tidbits. And we do these uh, fireside chats mm. that we uh, we should probably do another one soon, where we all kind of just chat with each other over the internet. And you guys can join in and be a part of that, and that's really fun. But listen, enough of that. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching our dumb show, and we appreciate you. Goodbye. <laughs>